undefeated <laughs>Good evening, 47. Your target is Father Adolrico Candelaria, a Catholic cardinal considered by Vatican insiders as a strong contender to be the next pope. However, ICA files indicate there is a series of links between the target and the Pinochet regime in Chile in the 70s and 80s. The target is currently on tour of Europe with a stopover at the church in Sapienza, where his itinerary states he will spend some time in prayer. He will be extremely well protected at all times by multiple layers of high alert security. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. The Cardinal's security team has locked down the Sapienza church. A small group of demonstrators has gathered outside to protest, but they are being kept away from the target and the church itself. Intelligence indicates a sizable team has secured every approach to the church and the target. Nothing you won't be able to handle. Good hunting. Yo, yo, grace and peace. Hope you guys are doing well. Back again, Hitman Elusive Target number three here on Sapienza. And kudos to IO. Loving these Elusive Target contracts. Definitely. And this time we have to take out a Catholic Cardinal, right? Definitely some staunch moral implications here, that's for sure. Um, this guy supposedly has some some ties to the Chilean Pinochet regime from back in the day. Some type of, I don't know, some type of military cartel or something. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, so I guess he's not a good candidate for, for this type of, <laughs> for this type of position. So anyway, coming down here, just manipulating the timing a little bit. I played around with the timing. Uh, for this run quite a bit and just going down in that staircase allowed me to uh, send the Cardinal in a certain in a certain route or on a certain route because he can do various different things depending on what you do uh, when you start out the mission so wanted him to come right here and then ultimately go down into the basement and yeah man uh, uh, this guy this guy doesn't like my sneaking i usually do these live but i was not able to do it live last night man and that's <laughs> this is that that kind of trickles right into what i'm going to talk about i failed at getting silent assassin here because i was playing without any 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 um without any sound i took my headset off i was i was talking to my wife you know what i'm saying and you know we're having a conversation and i was i had so much practice already and I had an idea of how to get my run done that, you know, I took off my headset. I was like, all right, you know, it's whatever. And ultimately that lack of sound is what cost me my, my silent assassin is really, really frustrating. <laughs> but yeah, you'll see. And uh, also, man, I usually, or I thought I was going to do the rest of these suit only. Uh, after my last run on the, on the second elusive target, I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll probably do all of these suit only, but it's not you know it's not very conducive to a quick run i wanted to find like a good five minute strategy uh that would allow me to uh, get an up close and personal kill i mean you can get this guy out of here in like a minute and a half i've seen some runs that have been insane but you got to use accidents you got to use accidents to get him out of there that quick and i'm not a big accident guy i like i like to get up close and uh, you know, use some use some tactics if you will. Play around with the logistics in the game or what have you. And so I came up with this strategy right here that would allow me to get somewhere around a five minute run done while taking him out down here in, in the basement. This is like the most isolated uh, time for you to get him. I've seen most people get him down here if you're going to fiber wire him or anything like that. This is probably where you want to do it. And uh, so, yeah, I came up with this strat here to grab the bodyguard on the way out there and then catch up to the Cardinal, catch up to the Prince before he reaches the top of the stairs. And booyah, I hit him right in the head the first time. This is perfect. Um, but I'm playing with no sound here, so I was kind of panicking. He was getting ready to turn around. So I let out two bullets there and it got the attention of one of the guards. <laughs> 
And yet, I don't I don't know this yet. I can't see it on the mini map because he's on a different floor level. So uh, one of the guards is on his way down here, and I don't know it. <laughs> and it's pretty doggone sad. Like just watching his back, I don't I don't know that he's coming down because I don't have any sound. I'm getting ready to make a clean exit, so I think. Oh God. And yeah. There he is right there. So he sees me trespassing, which just completely ruins my run. At this point, I still don't have any sound. So I don't know if there's multiple guards coming or what. I panic. Take him. I panic slap him with that shovel. And I'm just like trying to get out before I get shot or anything like that. But no other guards were alerted. So <laughs> pretty insane, man. Pretty insane. I was I was a handicapped I was a handicapped assassin. <laughs> so if there's an excuse built in, that's good. But if not, it is what it is. But yeah, man, there's my run. I was able to get out of here. Got four stars, not five. And hey, it is what it is. So looking forward to the next ET, ET number four. Having a blast with this game. Hope you guys enjoyed the run. It's been your boy Freak. You guys take it easy. And God bless you. Peace.